Good afternoon. Welcome to our show, The Great Talk. I'm Dr. Mohammad Rafiq Faroqi, editor in chief, CA Media Group. Today, we are going to have conversation with the Honorable Section Officer, Climate Change Department, Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. Sir, I would like to welcome you in Thank our you. program. Thank you so much. And I'm equally gratified and thankful to you for spending the important time for us. Yes. Uh, to proceed, I would like to know a brief introduction about your good self and the introduction of your prestigious department. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kunal Gadvi. I have done my bachelor in uh, chemistry right. from the MG Science University. It's a very prestigious uh, college under the Gujarat University. It's right. MG Science College. After that, I did my uh, post graduation in clinical research, okay. which deals with the uh, new molecules of the pharmaceutical ingredient. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are so carried out some clinical trials in human body and animals as well mm -hmm. for the invention of the new drug and medicine. And then I did my post graduation in business administration from the Ikfa University. And uh, after that, I am searching for the job and find out a good working environment in some private institutions working with the clinical trials and all that. But somehow uh, my interest uh, lies in very uh, much kind of global issues such as forest and environment and some government policies. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, I, I found a good opportunity in forest officers in 2010. So I filled a form in, uh, to be a range forest officer. Mm -hmm. So I prepared uh, myself and uh, gathered information and the knowledge to uh, to uh, clear the examination and somehow I passed the preliminary examination and after that um, I found this deputy section officer job in Sachiwale mm -hmm. itself so along with that forest officer uh, preparation mm -hmm. I started preparing uh, for the DYSO uh, job and I cracked the GPSC examinations and uh, cleared the examination and mm -hmm. become the uh, section uh, deputy section officer mm -hmm. and somehow after that, I also preparing for the UPSC and went to Delhi, mm -hmm. uh, Mukherjee Nagar for the uh, further my preparation and jobs. Uh, somehow I managed to clear GPSC again and mm -hmm. for the uh, gazetted officer, that is a section officer mm -hmm. in government of Gujarat. Correct. So after so many struggles and ups and downs, I managed to clear this uh, section officer and I am here uh, in Sachiwale campus mm -hmm. for more than nine years. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in industries and mines department earlier looking after the industrial policy Correct. and the SIR that is a special investment region mm -hmm. and SEJ that is a special economy mm -hmm. zones mm -hmm. policies uh, under my branch and then I uh, just transferred to the climate change department mm -hmm. and we are working uh, with the climate change and environment and so many thematic areas so on. Correct. So wonderfully you have elaborated from beginning to end how did you complete your journey. Gee, gee, gee. Right, so inspiring although. Thank you so much. Most welcome. To proceed, I would like to know some sort of the projects you have done mm -hmm. in an industries and mining department mm -hmm. and coming from that department mm -hmm. to this new challenging department mm -hmm. called climate change department. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know how was your experience over there with the projects mm -hmm. and different in this very particular department. Good questions. Uh, in industrial and mines department, there are so many branches. You can say 22 branches out there. It's so big department. There are uh, fractions of the department called the tourism. Mm -hmm. There is uh, some you can say kutir udyog, mm -hmm. small industries. Mm -hmm. There is a big industries. So I was in a large scale, large industries. So we need to make some industrial policy mm -hmm. for the large industries, which are more than 100 crores uh -huh. uh, in capital. So uh, there are a policy, every five years there are new policy for the industry. Correct. So there are so many committees, mm -hmm. either for the MSMEs, either for the chemical industries. Mm -hmm. uh, there are one committee who looking after the other committees. Correct. So uh, in when it comes to Sachival, mm -hmm. it's a pan Gujarat experience. Right. Whatever we are doing, the effect is goes on pan Gujarat. Absolutely. So you need to be very, very careful. You mm -hmm. need to when you need to consult so many people, Correct. you need to get opinion from the industry commissioner office Correct. you need to get put up the file up to the honorable chief minister sir. Mm -hmm. so the uh, atmosphere was very uh, good and you need to holistic approach Absolutely. so there is a 
you can uh, say that if you need to uh, some incentives, mm -hmm. so there is a, uh, a clause called a local empl uh, uh, employment. Mm -hmm. So you need to cope up with the other departments such as labor and employment department. Mm -hmm. You need to also get certificates from the uh, GPCB, that is a pollution control board. Mm -hmm. so you need to do uh, work with the forest department too. Mm -hmm. So there are very holistic approach there. There are uh, some good hierarchy. Mm -hmm. We do have a big uh, uh, commissariate uh, office under the uh, Honorable Industries Department called Industry Commissionate mm -hmm. and the wings of the that commissionate office is Pan Gujarat. We have 26 district industries office Wonderful. which deals with the taluka level and the village level. So as far as the uh, big policies is concerned, I branch is doing that. Mm -hmm. They are also working with the Vibrant Gujarat mm -hmm. and the agency who is uh, doing Vibrant Gujarat is Index B. Absolutely. So the HR part of Index B is looking after the department. I was looking for the HR part of the, in the Index B and there is a one institute which is called a CED which is very apt and important in current scenario mm -hmm. because they are working for the entrepreneurship. All right. So they are center for entrepreneurship development. You don't need a graduation or post graduation or PhD mm -hmm. to get admission into it. Mm -hmm. They are for the focus only on the entrepreneurship. If you are 10th pass, there is a course available for you. Mm -hmm. If you are 5th pass, there is a course available for you. Mm -hmm. If you are graduate, there is a course available for you. Mm -hmm. And there is a, we are working for the CED, that is the Center for Entrepreneurship Development, since 1979. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's very old and prestigious uh, institutes of under Industries and Mines Department. I was looking after that. And after 5 years, I was transferred in another branch, which is looking after the SIR, Special mm -hmm. Investment Region, and SEJM, that is the Special Economy Zones. Correct. So there are so many uh, good opportunities to work with them. We also have a Garud, which is a Gandhinagar Railway Urban Development uh, Organization, which uh, comes under, uh, which we uh, collaborated with the Ministry of uh, Railways, and we made the good a five-star hotel in Gandhinagar right. uh, under the chairmanship of the industry management department and there is a G-Ride which for the railway infrastructure, industrial right. railway infrastructure where right. there is a Maruti is there, some automobiles company is there. Mm -hmm. So uh, working with the in industry and mines department is honored for me and right. so blessed to uh, see such policies with uh, my, uh, my very own eyes yes. so I am happy to work with them. Uh, as far as the climate change department is concerned, it is very new and the last department mm -hmm. in entire Sachiwale to be framed off. Uh, it was founded in 2009 only, mm -hmm. so it's been just 12 years for Correct. this department. We do have a, one agency called mm -hmm. the JEDA, it is a Gujarat Energy Development Agency yeah. that comes under the climate change department. Right. And they are working very uh, nicely and uh, tirelessly for the renewable energy. Mm -hmm. There are some so many uh, verticals in climate change. Mm -hmm. It is forest, it is endangered species, it is about the pollution, it is about the renewable energies, mm -hmm. it is about sea level rising. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say that we have some tangible goals, Correct. but we have intangible goals. Right. Our impact is a very global impact. Mm -hmm. So we are working with the 19 line department. There is 19 line department, one line. Mm -hmm. There is 19 line department. We are very inclusive in nature. Mm -hmm. Though we have limited budget for the climate change, but we are identifying mm -hmm. the impact of climate change and right. how they are nicely working to conserve our environment, mm -hmm. what other departments are doing. So there are education departments, they are working. Mm -hmm. They are giving uh, some concessions to the students mm -hmm. for the bus passes. Correct. That is also a good part for the climate change because right. they are not going on a two-wheeler or mm -hmm. four-wheeler. Right. And they are uh, jointly using the public uh, transport, so it mm -hmm. is also a good impact on climate, so there is a less pollution and mm -hmm. less fees. So they are also working for the climate change. So we have a climate action fund. Mm -hmm. There are more than 19 departments they are working for the climate action fund. They have their own agenda, they have their own line of uh, rules of business. Correct. But as far as the climate is concerned, they are contributing somewhere, somewhat. Mm -hmm. But our department has totally concern about the climate change department Correct. and renewable energies. Correct. Perfect. Uh, Again, I would say a wonderful answer you thank have given. You, thank you so much. You know, the way you are collaborating the things, it's not just you're sharing the knowledge, yes. it's rather, I would say, definitely you're inspiring the viewers. Thank you, thank across you. Across so the nation. Yes, sir. Uh, so nice. Thank you.
from various sources we came to know at the very early age you are a very great influencer thank you you've been most welcome you've been inspiring aspirants for the gpsc and for the other competitive examinations mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so i would like to request to you put some light on those aspirants mm -hmm. who are preparing for the different competitive examinations mm -hmm. who are being inspired by you thank you thank you so much for this question uh, the thing is everyone is inspiring and everyone has something to offer correct but the thing is they don't either get the platform mm -hmm. or they either don't have uh, maybe a communication skill mm -hmm. to convey what they actually face in their villages or city right. or what they did in their uh, uh, you can say in their uh, struggling times so what i feel is uh, we as india has amazing ability to prosper as a nation absolutely uh, so i in my journey i have seen so many people who tirelessly work for the gps and upsc examination but somehow fail so they uh, they are much into worries and they uh, gave up and everything but there are so many other jobs mm -hmm. are there mm -hmm. offered by some private institutions but they are still into somehow that how to get uh, all that so my message is to your vision should be very clear my friend so what is a indian information service officer he once told me that i interviewed so many people thousands mm -hmm. people i they are scientists they are government officers they are writers they are movie makers mm -hmm. one thing is common and that is vision uh -huh. so the thing is uh, you are earning uh, for whom you are earning for you and you only need bread and butter not more than that Absolutely. so don't uh, pile up your dreams about the financial uh, things just pile up your dreams about the national interest okay. so i'm i'm telling my uh, friends and my juniors and the aspirants who are working they are preparing for the exams mm -hmm. i always tell them that whatever you are doing do it for the national interest oh great so i was talking about the social media platform which is very important in the current scenario sure. be it india or world around mm -hmm. so your efforts and tiring efforts are for the people who are having miserable life mm -hmm. or some sort of stress mm -hmm. so you're trying to make their life more happier and uh, helping them to come up with the flying colors in their life so would you also give some sort of examples how do you do this mm -hmm. thank you uh the thing is uh, in earlier era when people are dependent on the agriculture and the livestock only okay. india hum kehte hai ki kheti pradhan desh hai aur abhi bhi hai waisa there are some sectors called manufacturing sector agriculture sectors and service sectors in india there is giving with their contribution and the shares to the gdp so the thing is the lifestyle is now changing right people if you are working for the agriculture you uh, your Uh, जो आपकी पूरी त्यौहार है वो भी डिपेंडेंट वो भी पूरा एग्रीकल्चर के इर्द गिर्द रहता है जैसे कि कई सारे लोहरी है जैसे दिवाली हो गया जैसे होली हो गई तो पूरी एक लाइफस्टाइल है पर वो लाइफस्टाइल को ब्रेक करके अगर आप सिटी में आते हो और इफ यू आर गुड एजुकेटेड पीपल एंड यू आर वर्किंग फॉर सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर इज अ टेन टू सिक्स जॉब सो यू डोंट हैव आइडिया वट टू डू आफ्टर सिक्स राइट बट इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन अ रूरल एरिया देर इज अ टोटल फ्रेमवर्क सेट दैट पीपल आर सिटिंग इन पीपल आर वर्किंग इन पीपल आर गोइंग इन टू द फील्ड सो इफ दे आर नॉट एजुकेटेड दे आर नॉट रीडिंग नो एल्स द थिंग इज in uh, 90s in the early 90s uh, 90 10 90 people are starting uh, reading people are starting going schools correct so they are moving towards the urbanization they are moving to the urban cities mm -hmm. so the thing is they 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 have a frame to work 10 to 6 so what do they uh, uh, do after that mm -hmm. so they read correct so they either the newspaper or magazines mm -hmm. but if people are fed up with the hot spot things mm -hmm. doing every time they are inclined to the novels right so the thing is there are bulky novels are available correct in 18th or 19th century leo tolstoy war and peace absolutely gujarati saraswati chandra which is in four phases mm -hmm. so it's a bulky books correct. people start reading it and after a year or after a six month they'll complete it mm -hmm. but now along with the job you have so many responsibilities absolutely people are uh, doing parties and people are doing the uh, trekking there if you have a saturday and sunday you uh, you do some uh, quality work, uh, quality things apart from your job you are in a writing you are in poems so the thing is you have very limited and very tiny little time with you mm -hmm. so the concept of tuki varta in gujarati in english is the short stories okay. it comes 
from the bulky books uh -huh. it's now short stories uh -huh. from the bulky uh, you can say a five day test uh -huh. it's a one day one day uh, you can get cricket match uh -huh. and then it's 2020 correct so nowadays in social media there are a three hours movie up now it's two hour movie now it's youtube shorts it's a TikTok, it's an Instagram Reels. So it's not more than 20 seconds, not more than 50 seconds. So people don't have time. So what I do is, if I and my friend are very much, uh, very much familiar to the Japanese book, or very, very much familiar to the Israeli books, or Austrian books, or UK books, then what we do is, let's uh, read it and let's summarize it, uh -huh. let's make it precise, and let it available for the people. So people catch it. And they, they, they know about the, that book, you can say the review of the book, you can say the review of the movie, because people don't have time to go to the theater or go to the park their vehicles and get the tickets. This is why the OTT media is very popular right now. So people don't have time. So I, I took this opportunity. Uh -huh. I took this opportunity. I uh, just appreciate the people around me. Uh -huh. Either they are pure or either they are honorable, something, something, something. But I treat them equally. Uh -huh. So what we need to do, either you are from right side or either you are from left winger. But the thing is you need to identify and you need to respect everyone, despite of their opinion. Correct. If their opinion is there, it is not that much harmful. Uh -huh. It is not criminal. Then uh -huh. you can listen to him at uh -huh. least. So what I did is, I use Facebook, Insta and Twitter very positively. Mm -hmm. Whatever people are saying, I tried my give uh, to give my best opinion as per the uh, as per the quoted some, some, somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, if there is in a rules, if there is a, in a somewhere uh, giving some information, it's mm -hmm. not my personal opinion. So uh, people started to like me. Mm -hmm. So I personally guide them about the competitive exams. I told them, though you love your Gujarati literature, though you are from Gujarat, but learn English. Correct. I told them, learn Urdu. I, lo I told them, learn Hindi. Be inclusive. Go to the Rajasthan, go to the Kashmir, go to the Kerala. Learn about them. Meeting a person is like reading a book. Absolutely. So I make jokes. I make memes. Memes is, is not a part of literature, okay. but memes is very creative and memes is giving message in a minute, ah. in a second. So I appreciate the memes, I appreciate the jokes, I appreciate the small poems, I appreciate the guzzles, okay. I appreciate the short stories or novels. So I don't want to be you know, fix that I only post the guzzle. I don't want to make a kind of my uh, branding strategy that I, I belongs to the climate change department right. and I, I, I just work for the and I just uh, write about the climate change. I am man of inclusiveness. Absolutely. I would write a poem and there is a climate change in, inside it. I would make a note of climate change and there is a poem inside it. Right. So I, I am a man of inclusiveness and I tell people that for just forgive the people, just okay. communicate with them, just have a uh, wear a nice cloth, eat good food, mm -hmm. roam around the mm -hmm. India. India is such a big country, it's like a continent. Mm -hmm. So roam around, have some good faith, love people from the northeast, tell, tell about, ask about uh, their culture. There is uh, my uh, new column uh, called Samyak Bani. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, Samyak Bani will conclude about the 28 states of India mm -hmm. and uh, some seven, eight. Uh, union territories mm -hmm. so I want to tell people about their culture and how they are uh, don't uh, run after the money just run after your happiness right uh, I am impressed and I am hope that the viewers who will watch this interview or read in a short span of time they will definitely have a huge impact thank you from this wonderful talk we have at the moment Swami Vaikanand once said at your will, mountains will scramble. Mm. I see some sort of that kind of spark in your personality. Thank you so much. Because most welcome. Uh, it's not because at the moment I'm sitting next to you. It's like I am visualizing. Thank you so much. Because at the moment, people around, at least India, some people are so depressed. Depressed. Uh, because of the job because of some other family work or some other problems. We wish to Almighty that everything will be sorted out. But at the same time, the moment somebody takes an initiative apart from his or her personal obligations, take the initiative for the betterment of the people, I think that is the true meaning of humanism. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank Most you so welcome. Much. I heard from sources that you've been very kind, you've been very compassionate, uh, rather I can say, a down-to-earth personality. 
how did you frame yourself into this particular attire? Because I didn't yet kill my child inside myself. <laughs> so the thing is, I That's see wonderful. I see that everything uh, is a child's eye. Uh -huh. So whatever I'm getting right now, I'm feeling that it's God's grace. I'm mm -hmm. not feeling that I have cleared this examination. That is why he is do, behaving good with me. Mm -hmm. I am saying that it is a good part of yourself mm -hmm. or others that they are behaving so good with me. We are seeing some so many wars around the mm -hmm. globe. We are seeing so many diseases around the globe. Still, we are good at peace mm -hmm. and very healthy. So we are very thankful to the Almighty. So from the from the very small entity of the uh, state or nation or the, the world, I am very thankful to him. And uh, I do have empathy for them, what they are feeling. Mm -hmm. Even I can visualize the, what they uh, may feel in their age group, Absolutely. what they may feel in their religion group. Uh, what they may feel uh, about the, how they educated themselves. Mm -hmm. So when I when I meet the people who uh, just uh, they are beggars and just 50 rupees. Still uh, yesterday I it happened to I went uh, my uh, I, I along with my uh, two years old toddler mm -hmm. I went for the dinner and uh, of, uh, there is a 30 rupees things toy and I bought it and I gift 20 rupees to that lady so he was kind of a beggar mm -hmm. so she told me that I she has something to offer mm -hmm. from that 20 rupees she, she was not about to take that money as a gift mm -hmm. so my respect for those people are increasing uh, by such incidents mm -hmm. and, I, and I am raised by a, a very mighty uh, woman mm -hmm. uh, my mother mm -hmm. so she told me about the how you take the things differently there is a religion there is a humanity but see the things uh, by going outside of the universe and mm -hmm. see the universe okay. that how people are don't don't take uh, someone's side without uh, and don't judge someone okay. just read about them i read a lot i meet people a lot mm -hmm. so the thing is when you put something mm -hmm. you be very inclusive Correct. and uh, be very uh, down to earth mm -hmm. meet the people uh, either from a rich background or a poor background or from a, a interfaith or whatever they are mm -hmm. so listen to them mm -hmm. and what if they are uh, doing in you know, something anger there is must be some reasons to give give time to the situation right. and i'm very fortunate that uh, there i met so many women in my life though they are blessing to me i met so many men in my life they uh, my uh, honorable vikas divekati sir uh, is a founder of drastical academy he told that a man only needs two person uh -huh. one whom he can be very small uh -huh. and one who can be he can be very big uh -huh. so i am fortunate enough that there are so many young aspirants i can be uh, there uh, you can say model or aspirational figure okay. and there are so many big personality whom i bow down and i told them uh -huh. that please uh, give me some insights for the future or please give me some plans how to i go so in my future see uh, we are always taking some good things from our parents mm -hmm. but in my life there are some many some many uh, so many people in my age mm -hmm. they are giving me uh, that sanskriti kind of thing that what kind of uh, uh, you can say the family hai usme kitne kitne rituals hai aur kitne kitne wo cheeze hai jisse karke wo aage aaye mm -hmm. i am fortunate enough to have amazing friends in my life all right uh, your conversation or the story of your life has put me into a very deep thought because as a man we encounter with great personality we know a particular personality has a particular field mm -hmm. ABC but you being very versatile you being and very humble and, and that too I am wondering when you reach to the age of 100 or more than 100 so what will be what personality look like at then your personality is so charming and so attractive for the people as of now. Mm -hmm. How would I visualize it after a century when you become of that age? Anyways, uh, to proceed, the most important question I'm going to ask you, behind this entire episode of your life, mm -hmm. there is toil, there are hard work, there are tears, right? Yes. There is happiness. Mm -hmm. So the question I'm Interestingly, I would like to know what are your life principles which stand with you and make you mm. the personality you are at the moment. Yes, uh, in 2017 examinations, I was failed in GPSC. Uh -huh. uh, the thing is, I was forget to 
uh, n sub curve the e option e there is a uh, there is a mechanism in GPN examination that there is a four option and if you don't want to attempt it you need to n circle fifth mm -hmm. I was forget to n circle fifth mm -hmm. so there are some minus marking and mm -hmm. I was failed so I was crying that time and I said I, I lost my uh, good career and oh, everything is there but then there is empathy is there mm -hmm. absolutely uh, there are 10 lakhs aspirants in Gujarat for the class 3 jobs and there are 15 lakh students you know, across the India for the class 1 job UPSC USA mm -hmm. so I feel somehow that I am not alone mm -hmm. there are lakhs of people who get failed mm -hmm. so the empathy is there that mm -hmm. I meet the people earlier I was like he is a Passed, so he's intelligent. Mm -hmm. He failed, so he's not intelligent. Uh -huh. But it's not like that. Right. When I got failed, I am very much into myself that I read a lot, I travel a lot, I am very loyal to the uh, my rules and all that. Still, I failed. So somehow my respect for the people who failed in their life is increased. Uh -huh. So there is a uh, empathy okay. for the people who are the either hawkers or the beggars or they are pews or they are working in a big company as a CEO. My respect for them is equal. Right. So my principal uh, earlier uh, I was very uh, dubious and was not clear about life principles okay. but now I am very much sure about the empathy and integrity. Whatever am I right now if I don't work or don't go in my future one thing is with, with, with me it's empathy but if I want to continue my work if I want to make shine myself okay. and to make proud my family uh, and entire my friends then one more thing which I should possess is integrity oh, integrity is something that what you are doing when nobody is Absolutely watching you watching you, watching you so integrity should be there and I somehow still need to learn so many things to, uh, to, to be with the integrity it's very difficult to have that integrity Correct. so empathy is with me totally but integrity I still need to work very hard and I would love to be I am very integral person I, I do have integrity but it should be uh, it should be reflected in my uh, work too so uh, integrity and the empathy is my principle of life. Right, 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 so wonderful I am also wondering that uh, the kind of profession thinking you have at this age again I am coming of the age mm -hmm. because uh, I met a lady in Delhi she was 92 mm -hmm. uh, we have a conversation with her she narrated a lot of things from her career mm. being the wife of a person who is from defense mm. academy yes and she also has various toys mm. and various stories to narrate but then I realized she is 92 mm. obviously she has seen a lot of things, lot of things. Uh, she has seen the pre and post independence right but coming back to you mm. uh, from last 65 interviews, yeah. there are few persons who have done a tremendous job, really tremendous job. Yes. In later episode, I'll mention their names to you. Yes. You are one of them. Thank you. Really, Thank you so much. Really Thank, you so much. Thank you so much. So far, there are out of 65, out of 65, trust me, four persons have done exceptionally brilliant. Thank you. And exception proves the case. That's great, right? So coming to the next question, I would like to know what's your message for the people of India mm. and for the people of world as a whole? Mm. One positive message before I conclude to the final question, mm. I would like to know what's your message for the people of India and people of the world? As far as the India is concerned, uh, we are energy dependent for the uh, to the uh, another country. So, uh, how to be energy ind independent is the based on the how the private players are working or the government policies should be there. How we are switching to the renewable energy is very macro things. Okay. We cannot get into much. Uh, when it comes to health and education, we do have a good infrastructure, but still we have to uh, learn a lot of things. But when it comes to uh, India. Uh, then I, I would like to, I am a very small person to suggest, but see, we are excel a lot in IT field, we mm. excel a lot in pharmaceutical fields, we excel a lot when it comes to government structures and all that, but still there are so many things which we can excel and we should respect the people who are from the different background, mm -hmm. we should refer, we, they are lacking of some good communication skill, mm -hmm. but they are lacking some presentation skill, mm -hmm. organic, organic farming was there since uh, centuries, but now people are recognizing mm -hmm. 
So Ayurveda was not there, but now people are recognizing. Correct. So the thing is, I want to tell people that whatever you are doing, is a small stuff, either you are making agarbattis or you are making champas, whatever, mm -hmm. have integrity. Uh -huh. And I want, I want to tell other people that look at them uh -huh. with work and not that there is no chota work, bada work, mm -hmm. nahi hota. See, there are so many housewives, mm -hmm. they are still, they are uh, totally uh, in dilemma that uh, working women have more freedom, Correct. working women have such things and all that. So there, there should be a concept of a uh, part-time working four hours of, of work from the homes and all that or if if not then there should be kind of a balancing approach in the entire nation we have we do have that but there are some lacking and we have some visionary leader we should have that they can and on and one thing and making a policy and all that so one one i should suggest people that respect for every individual mm -hmm. learn a lot make a habit to read a book see we are doing from the brushing to our teeth to the wearing night dress so we have a total schedule managed in our uh, entire life that what to do but there is a reading of books learning from the various resources and to travel to india it's very rare Correct. so mahatma gandhi when came from the africa mm -hmm. went to hold the each and every state by the trains mm -hmm. so i when i visited more than 10 15 states in my life, I learn a lot more than the books. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I give the suggestion to every individual of the India mm -hmm. that it's cheaper, fine. If it's cheaper, it will be cheaper, it will be cheaper, it will be cheaper. But you uh, travel, do a lot of books, and schedule maintain. Mm -hmm. Without schedule, you cannot achieve any goals. Correct. So there are some achievable goals, there is non-achievable goals. Mm -hmm. Don't run after the non-achievable. I no. myself quit UPSC examination Correct. because I can excel in literature field. So you need to see your capabilities also. Right, right. Don't drag too much, uh, which can be emotionally imbalanced, making you imbalance. Right. So be very much emotionally balanced. Be uh, very much be productive. Read a lot. Love your friends and love your friends without you can say gender. Mm -hmm. See, everyone is individual. Right. When you say there is a person in a farm, mm -hmm. so you will imagine a man and not woman. Mm -hmm. But when you say there is a person in a kitchen, mm -hmm. so you will imagine a woman. So there, 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 it should be break, it should be break, there is a gender neutrality uh -huh. in everything Correct. and uh, let's be, uh, let's have some good festival, let's enjoy life, there is a one life, you have only got a one life. Mm -hmm. So uh, so the thing is, don't, uh, as uh, Honorable uh, Prime uh, President of the US once said, okay, well, don't think that what nation uh, do it for you, okay. just say that what you do for the nations, so oh, that's the God. message. Uh, I wonder, I also would like to ask, even the viewers would be also wondering, that coming uh, up with this kind of great ideology you have, so what sort of diet plan do you have? <laughs> uh, diet plan in terms of, uh, see I, I connect with the people, if mm -hmm. there is a birthday I wish them, mm -hmm. though uh, it was not able, I just make 30 minutes for the people of on my social media every day, mm -hmm. I, I try to read uh, 40 pages every day no matter who, where am I, mm -hmm. I may there be in Shimla or Lucknow, but mm -hmm. I read a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I get in touch with the current affairs because people uh, who are uh, preparing for the UPSC examinations, mm -hmm. uh, question uh, may be asked by the current affairs. Okay. I do read a lot about the current affairs. Okay. Uh, I be uh, very much positive and if things which uh, my small uh, two year little uh, kid whose name is Samyak, if he, he is not able to do something, he says, okay, switch over to the another toy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I, I it, it's maybe uh, my uh, minus points or maybe negativity, I switch over. Suppose uh, there is some good uh, sessions on my, uh, in, in tribal community, I do give my some good lectures <coughs> for the competitive exam. I, mm -hmm. I train so many uh, people, mm -hmm. aspirants for the government jobs. Mm -hmm. So if it is not scheduled, then I go for the movie premiere. Correct. So I, I don't belong to the some one segment. Uh -huh. That that is uh, that is uh, you can say multi versatile personality. You mm -hmm. can say so uh, one if you want to achieve something which is give you a big impact in the long run, which I am doing uh, right now in a climate change. Mm -hmm. So. I am very much loyal to the climate change department. I am mm -hmm. very much loyal for the policies of the government policy. So I do have a one plan in my mind that whatever uh, my inputs is there. So I am loyal, loyal to them, doing very hard, hard work for them. I, I am not deviate my mind for this uh, office work and all that. But as far as my personal things are there, it is a literary terms or uh, appreciating some paintings or going some movie premiere or going some, you can say, a movie review I write. So I, I don't 
belong to the particular genre. I, I, I give myself is a very fluid concept that yeah. can go to anywhere. So it, it requires a lot of reading Correct. to speak about anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, the diet plan is to read, to meet people, especially to meet people, just yeah. like you wonderful personality. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, one last question I would like to know. Uh, what sort of India mm. do you visualize mm. for the next uh, mm. half a decade or a decade? Mm. As I have earlier mentioned that energy independent, I really badly need that India should be energy independent yeah. as far as the fossil fuels is concerned. Mm -hmm. So we are much, uh, uh, we should be much into the renewable energy and hydrogen, green hydrogen is mm -hmm. there, there is a yellow hydrogen is there. Energy, if, if our the good kind of financial is going outside just because of the petroleum things. Mm -hmm. So energy independence, there, we require a good schools and colleges such as like Stanford and Oxford mm -hmm. in, in India and in Gujarat as well. We also need social and religious harmony. Mm -hmm. We need to make a brand in the entire world. Mm -hmm. we, we, if there is an Israel, if there is a US or UK or Canada, whatever, they need to give the examples of India. Uh -huh. So wow. many Muslim people are there, so many Hindus are there, so many Sikhs are there, so mm -hmm. many Jews. Recently, Jain uh, got minority status. Correct. So, how it can be possible? They are both in, a, in a two, 2000 years, Jainism, Buddhism, and Hinduism kind of. Uh, from chair, verticals of the same thing. Still, there is a there is a so many you can say other hai, yet dusre ke liye, prerna hai, dusre ke liye. To wo hai. And we branding it very nicely. We uh, in incredible, incredible India. We branded our India as a tourism destination. We also brand. We should also brand as a religious ambassador of the entire world. Absolutely. That we have the every religion, even Parsi. Parsi culture is there, so we should brand our. Uh, there is 192 countries in, in the world. Mm -hmm. Why we don't take the kind of religious and how you see in India, religious things is connected with your lifestyle. So the how you make the lifestyle more robust and more healthy with the religion principles, right. either from the each dom domicile, either from Muslim, Hindu, whatsoever. So I really wish that people <coughs> don't. A nudge and fight mm -hmm. for the tiny little issues, but mm -hmm. be very inclusive. Mm -hmm. So there should be energy independence. There should be good health and infrastructure structure and the educations. And the uh, final is the social and religious harmony. And it should be policy driven state. If mm -hmm. there is a policy of helmet, it should be there. It should be Correct. policy of mask. It should be there. Correct. So uh, people should be very obedient, not mm -hmm. just government, uh, not just people. Mm -hmm. Government officers are also part part of people. Absolutely. So they are not uh, kind of you can say the special citizens. So each of them, each of them, relevant to their uh, social status or their stature or their uh, richness, mm -hmm. every should be among the as in our. <coughs> Uh, Indian polity, constitution, everyone is equal. So it, it just should be, uh, it also be seen as an equal in the entire okay. nation. So don't be uh, much impressed when uh, there is uh, some government officers or uh, you can say these doctors or engineers are there. But the people who are working in down farmers or people who are working in very, uh, you can say, downtrodden lines, they are also as respected as because they are also working for the national okay. interest. So the main philosophy, the basic philosophy should be understood by the large segment of the society. And as, uh, as I said, the fundamental rights mm -hmm. uh, and fundamental duties, mm -hmm. we are happily uh, exercising our rights. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to duties, uh -huh. we just uh, sat back. Though the thing is, uh, in article number 51A, there is some 12, 13 principle. Mm -hmm. It is about to conserve nature, it is about to respecting elders, it is about the how we working with the integrity of the nation. If someone do that fundamental duties, mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. So yeah. I just want to read I, I asked many students, have you completed your syllabus? They say yeah. have you read about fundamental duties? No. In every book there is a first page is fundamental duties. Every book is CBSC board, Gujarat board, Kashmir board, whatever. There is a fundamental duty. It is a rule that in first page there is a Pratigna Patra. In second page there is a fundamental duties, but no one mm -hmm. is reading that. Okay. So I wish that I, I this is my message to the parents. This is my message to the teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, allow them and read them. Uh, you can in the uh, whole class me jor se bolao bachcho ko ki bhi kya cheez hai. Correct. Par aage jaake yehi to kam aayegi. Correct. Thank you so much. So dear viewers, we were in conversation with the Honorable Section Officer 
Mr. Kunal Garbi, sir, from the Climate Change Department, Gandhinagar, Gujarat, who has given a tremendous knowledge, a treasure of knowledge with us and has given a new India visualization for the next year that India should become the energy independent. With this hope, we would like to wrap up this program and put forward our sincere thanks once again to Garbi, sir. Thank, thank you so much you, for joining our program. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>